recording is starting. Welcome. This is the 14th of September, 2022, Git Cash Maintenance Project. Uh, so, Hrushikesh, I have merged the changes into the Git Client plugin and hope to release it within the next 24 hours. So, okay. congratulations. I'm not as confident on the changes in the Git plugin because I want to do some more testing. I want to be sure that we get the help in, et cetera. So there are more things to be done there, but I wanted to get the Git client plugin out there because that way we've got a stable base for it. And I've got a way to deliver jgit 5.13.1. So thank you very much. And we'll continue the work with the Git client or with the Git plugin um, in the future. So thank you very much. So that's some good news uh, because the code has been merged. Yeah. Uh, I had a doubt regarding the Git plugin. Uh, now, how are we going to, how are you going to test it or how are we going to test it? Are you going to run it on your machine to check? Uh, is it executing as expected or? Yes. I had a doubt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so before I'll do further testing, there are some mm -hmm. there are some things that I've got to be sure. For instance, we didn't get the online help in yet, and I'd like to have online help available before we before we merge. Uh, we've got to be sure we get documentation in, and if you're available to help with documentation, great. But I think your first priority has to be update your project page on Jenkins.io. And if you're if you're not yeah. feeling well, that may be all you do is update that project page so that you can get it it completed to satisfy the requirements of Google Summer of Code. Okay. So now in yeah. terms of, in terms of, I, I'm hoping that you're, you're interested in continuing, but you certainly aren't required to continue uh, to work with, with, a, with me on it. But one way or the other, what you've done is going to be merged and we will arrive at shipping it. I, I'm not sure when yet because I've got some travel that I have to do later this month that and preparing for it that makes it difficult for me to say when I'm going to do anything else but I'm looking oh. forward to it merged and and shipped and delivered and touted oh we we can keep working on this thing if you know if we you know if you put any comment on that pull request as well i would uh you know see an update and do any changes required from my side as well so great well that. thank you yeah. thanks very much now i assume that school is starting or has started uh actually it uh for we had college the entire summer like for us oh. summer is yeah for okay, so you, you were already yeah. in school. This is no different yeah, yeah. for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of used to it. But no, but, uh, but, but I can, yeah, you know, I'll keep contributing. That is what from my side, you know, try and finish it and deliver it as expected without any issues in a very you know, safe state. Excellent. That's wonderful. Thanks very, very much. So... And uh, uh, this, I updated the Git client API, you know, uh, to return a Boolean. And uh, that I have updated its changes in the Git plugin as well. Uh, so now I know if the Git maintenance is being executed or not. Before I wasn't sure, but now in the Git plugin, we can confirm that the maintenance has been executed or not. Also, the cache size, now I'm displaying it only in terms of MB, like as we have discussed. Okay, so that has become easier to sort as well. Okay, now I, I couldn't, uh, I, I thought I'll work on, you know, skipping the caches for uh, repositories less than 100 KB, something like that. But then I, uh, you know, because of this thing, I couldn't work on it. Right, no, I, no problem. I'll try and complete it by this weekend. I'm not an issue. Also, there are uh, I've updated the help files, like uh, added the text from my side, but it isn't still working in the UI. Uh, two, three uh, maintenance tasks help file I've updated. Uh, so that also I'll finish and push it by this weekend so that you know it would be completed. Other than that, I think, yeah. 
everything looks like goes going as expected. Wonderful. Rushikesh, thank you very much. Congratulations on on your accomplishment and and thank you. I look forward to those last little bits and we'll keep working it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. So in terms of updating the project page, are you comfortable mm -hmm. with the kinds of things you're going to insert there so that you've got a good so that it's clear to the Google Summer of Code people just how what great work you've done, etc. You're comfortable what you'll embed there, etc. Oh, uh, I was thinking of uh, adding. So basically, first there's a project abstract. What is a project going to talk about? And then I was thinking about uh, you know the deliverables. What exactly was required by me? And then one architecture diagram. And then what I've done in the first phase, and then it's video, the YouTube video, and then the second phase, what I've worked on, and down, uh, you know, attach links to the Git client plugin, the Git plugin. That's what I was thinking. I like uh, that. That link to the link to the pull requests. And now, now that we've got, if if we're lucky, so and this is me saying if we're lucky, but if if things work out the way I hope, you may be able to link to the Git client plugins release note or the change log for 3.12.0 because it now lists the automatic Git cache maintenance API or it will when it's released. I can see it as a pre-release and when I release it and if we finish early today, I may be able to release it immediately after this meeting. Okay. So I can attach that as, but where, where do I find the link? It would be in the readme or something. Link. Yeah, so here, I'll, how about if I'll just paste it to you and show you what, how it will look. Okay, so it would be like this. Three dot eleven dot two. Good, all right, yeah, so I'm going to paste it into the into the Zoom meeting chat channel. That is the previous. Is the let's see is the change log for the previous release. So it's just an example. Yeah. And then this will be the link for the new release after it has released so it's okay. it's broken link right now so don't don't be dismayed when when this second thing is not resolvable right now because that i can i or even i don't see it what i see is a pre-release of that in my in the queue showing the correct things so it it will be at that location once it is released Oh, th this thing would happen on its own or you have like no no I, I no I it should happen on its own that's a very good question actually because mm -hmm. in the Jenkins project uses continuous delivery for many plugins however I am behind schedule and the git client plugin doesn't use continuous delivery yet okay so so in a in a perfect world the merge of your changes would have automatically run the release process and yeah, automatically okay. published everything. And for a number of plugins, for several other plugins, I maintain that's exactly what happens. But the Git oh. client plugin, I'm, I'm still hesitant about it, right? Because it's got a lot of users. And, <laughs> and if I make a mistake, it hurts a lot of people, so. So uh, now if I go and download the, you know, uh, what do you tell, Jenkins long-term software, and then if I download the Git client plugin, my code would be in it, right? If, uh, once you release it. Right. Once it's released, absolutely. Then, then, so for instance, 24 hours from now, you should be able to, when you start Jenkins, you'll see a Git client plugin version 3.12.0 that will include your code and jgit jgit um 5.13.1 yes okay so yeah that's something to be proud about <laughs> it it is well done yeah
So are there any other topics that you wanted to be sure we discussed today? Um, I think that's it, Mark. There's nothing else from my side. The final thing is that I'll put a send a message in the Gitter channel. Okay, so, good. And have you responded? I think, actually, I think I know the answer. I believe I saw that you had responded to the Doodle poll trying to find a time for the presentations. Yeah, yeah, I have responded. Yeah. Very good. All right. Excellent. Well, then, Rushikesh, thanks very much. Hope you're feeling better soon. And congratulations on a great project. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. It was very nice working with you. Real pleasure with you as well. Bye for now.